Thailand's very first botanic garden is now a major travel destination in Meerim district, 30 kilometers northwest of Chiang Mai, covering a mountainous area of 560 acres and displays a vast collection of plants from different climates around the world. The garden was established in 1992 and was originally called the Mesa Botanic Garden. It was renamed to honor Her Majesty Queen Sirikit in 1994 and features several highlights including a rainforest glasshouse where you can walk amid abundant kinds of plants from all tropical forests in Asia. The garden also provides an educational role for school children and students and is an important resource center for academics and scientists. There are two huge greenhouses, one full of tropical trees and plants, the other with cacti and other arid zone plants. A cafe and gift shop at the top of a terrific view. However, for many visitors to the garden, the main role is a recreational one and local and foreign tourists visit here simply to enjoy what is a stunning setting. There are a number of walking trails provided but you can also feel free to walk around and enjoy the lush screen without any orders. The garden covers a large area with a number of slopes and so the most comfortable and convenient way to explore the grounds is by car or motorcycle. It took us around 45 minutes to drive the 30 kilometers from Chiang Mai to the entrance of the park by motorcycle. There are plenty of resting places and car parks where visitors can get out and walk around and enjoy the beauty of the gardens. There is also a trolleybus service in operation. With walking trails, a treetop canopy walkway and picnic spots dotted amongst the flower gardens, this is a truly wonderful place to spend some time. The garden has a lot of hikes lasting from 20 minutes up to 2 hours that we didn't have time to do. Opening hours daily from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Entrance fees to Queen Silicate Botanic Garden, adults 100 bath, 40 bath for ties, children 50 bath, 20 bath for ties, and free for children under 12 years. Car 100 bath and motorbike 30 bath. <laughs>
spørre hvordan jeg hadde det midt i en haug med kaktus. A very popular spot for a family photo, selfie time, is by the outdoor clock. And yes, it works. It is surrounded by beautiful landscape grounds and a fountain to stand near and get hit by the cooling mist.
there is also a natural science museum in the garden with an extra bonus section in a 3D art exhibit. You and the family will have so much fun capturing the perfect photos here. In the canopy walk close to the garden you can stroll along a 400 meter long and 20 meter high walkway among the treetops and watch a lush tropical jungle and if lucky get sight of some of the many birds and animals that live in the canopy. The canopy walk is prepared for wheelchair users as well. Sections of the walkway also has a glass floor. In the park, make a stop at Banana Avenue, where you can explore a banana forest. Did you know that banana trees aren't actually trees at all, but one of the largest species of herbs? The pinkish purplish things you see above are actually banana flowers, and they are considered a local delicacy. While you are here, you've got to try banana flower salad. On our way back to downtown Chiang Mai, we stopped at a restaurant at the riverfront where we enjoyed a good meal with traditional Thai dishes at a decent price. Here we could sit on a platform in the river and chill our legs in the running river water. There are three restaurants downstream at the Mae Sao riverfront. Dann wird Appetit zum Bogen. 